Hi everybody, Mr. E here with another story time and another Pow Pow Fish book. <laughs> this one's new. I just got it at our last book fair. It's called The Pow Pop Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. It's by Deborah Deason and illustrated by Dan Hanna. Let's get started. Oh no, look at the poor Pow Pow. Mr. Fish is a mess. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. Do you know what wonderstruck means? That's not a word we use very often. Wonderstruck is like when you see something and you go, ooh, ah, oh. <laughs> That's wonderstruck. His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw. Can you tell what he sees? A big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell, so he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna find some answers. Would you like to join me too? What do you think? You wanna join Mr. Fish? I do. Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer, as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright. But looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around the mother's cabin, in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us, too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled in the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All is one, said Mrs. Squid as she swooshed away some junk. The group continued forward towards the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is... What do you think the problem is? Any guesses? The problem is us. We made this big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy. And some began to pout. Does pouting solve anything? Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we cost it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree. We should. Sounds like a plan. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision. But which one would they make? 
A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed positively, yes and yep. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned up. They cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked to fix and remedy the damage that they had done. Do you think you can vacuum the ocean? <laughs> I love those pictures. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less traits, to reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us to the end? But is it the end? No. We all can play our part at helping keep our world clean, right? Just like Mr. Fish and his friends. There are definitely things that we can do to help. So, I think that this is a pretty awesome book. That even though it's about fish in the story, it really is about us. There are things we can do each and every day to help our world be a better place. And I know you can be a part of that too. All right, thanks for joining another story time with Mr. E. Have a good day and look for another studio project about a fish very shortly.